Dumpty dum dum dum. This is the lamest field trip ever. If you don't count that four hour tour of the pencil factory, I'd block that one out. Shh. Let's move along. Now, here we see straight from Paris the insouciant yet marvelously focused meaning of life. I hate to break it to you, Mr. Biddle, but that's a fork. And this is not simply a fork, young man. This is art. Looks like a fork. That's totally a fork. Now this I like. Mm, it does have a certain sense of negative space, but it lacks the irony of, say... Whoa! Hey, check me out! Harvey, get down from there! How can you be so immature? Whoa! Oh, oh! Uh, where's the off switch on this thing? Whoa! Whoa! Now all the children, get down here this instant! Ah! Ah! Time for magical slowdown! Children! Isn't going to be good. But it wasn't my idea. Harvey just jumped onto the sculpture and then I guess I got swept away. This knife is kind of dull. Really, Sabrina, to play around on such an important object of art. What's so important about it? It just is. Uh huh. Art is very important, and the fact that you didn't enjoy yourself today... No, no, I had a lot of fun. A museum is not the right place for that kind of fun. That's not the point of... Then what is the point? It's a matter of respect. Well, Mr. Biddle didn't exactly show us a whole lot of respect. He treated us like a bunch of silly kids. <laughs> I regret I have but one leaf is stuck to give her my salad. Well, unfortunately, what you and Harvey did only proved him right. You see my point? I guess so. But I've decided not to punish you. Instead, I want to give you an opportunity. I don't like the sound of this. Viva la revolution! I've enrolled you in piano lessons. Now, isn't that exciting? P piano lessons? No! <laughs> Hello? Oh, is someone there? <gasps> Hi, you must be Sabrina. Sorry about that, I get a little carried away sometimes. Welcome, I'm Dave Manning, your new piano teacher. I'm sure you're eager to get started. Please, sit down. Just a minute. Before we start playing this, uh... Piano? Thank you, piano. I should probably tell you that I'm here under protest. This was all my uncle's idea, and I refuse to be excited, happy, interested, respectful, or otherwise. Now you seem like a reasonable person. Let's just get this over with. Well then, okay. Uh, let's start with a scale. Now, why don't you give it a try? Huh? Oh. Well, if I must. Great, okay. I'm enriched. I'm enlightened. I have a whole new appreciation for art, so can I go home now if I promise to be a good girl? Oh, I see. This lesson is a kind of punishment. I sort of took a teeny-weeny joyride on that big mobile at the Greendale Museum. I got busted. <laughs> well, you don't have to make fun of me. I've suffered enough. Oh, no, I, I, I'm so sorry. Th that was rude. You're right. I wasn't making fun. I just think that's pretty hilarious. You do? When I was your age, I got three weeks of detention for painting a mural on the Greendale Junior High cafeteria wall. You did? No way! That was you? That cafeteria wall is like a legend. Wow. I'm amazed it's still there. I suppose it's a sort of banner to the artistic contributions I made to Greendale Junior High. I'm so touched. Um, they painted over it in like 1995 or something. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. The point is that that painting meant something to me and art should be enjoyed. Yeah. I think that art should reach out and say something to you. Me too, I totally agree. Otherwise, why is it there in the first place? I mean, I'm not saying that it's okay to play Tarzan on the artwork at the museum, but I Ooh. bet you'll never forget the way that sculpture made you feel. Wow. You're right. I mean, that's why I was so bored yesterday, because the museum guy, Mr. Biddle, was making all the art sound, like, so serious and like we were such dumb little kids that couldn't possibly understand it, and... And you thought that it was just... Cool! Cool. Sounds good to me. You don't sound like the other teachers. How do I sound? I don't know. Cool. 
Well, you're fun to talk to. You're a very smart girl. Smart enough to learn the piano? Mm, nice try. Okay, let's forget about the scales for now, okay? Why don't you just listen to me play and in your head follow along and imagine a really cool story to go along with what I'm playing? Um, okay, why not? See? Now, that's not so bad, is it? No. Actually, that was pretty amazing. You're amazing. So, I'll see you next week? Oh, definitely. Sabrina. But I must go. If only I had known that you were the secret twin sister of my brother's ex-sister-in-law. Perhaps things could have been different. Manfred, please. My play leaves for Buenos Aires in half an hour. I must go. Manfred, wait. Are you leaving me for Penelope? Kiss him! Kiss him or you'll never see him again! Oh, jeez! How blind can you kids be? <laughs> Hello, dear family! Why so gloomy? It's a beautiful day! Sabrina, what happened? Did you skip your piano lesson? No way! In fact, I'm never skipping another piano lesson as long as I live! So, your teacher isn't boring? Boring? Ha! He's a genius! Dave and I talked about music, the artistic soul, and about classical piano. And did you know that Dave said without classical music there'd be no opera, or ballet, or sneaker commercials, and... This Dave person seems to have made quite an impression on you. You don't mean this Dave. That's my Dave! I mean, uh, that's him, that's Dave, you know, just Dave, no big deal. Yeah, <laughs> quickly, can we go to the concert tonight? Please? I think that's a great idea. We haven't done something cultural together as a family in a long time. Okay, enough chit-chat. Time to go. Everybody get ready. We're going now. We don't want to be late. Let's go. Sabrina, I'm so proud of you. It's wonderful to see you display a whole new sensibility of refinement and taste. Yeah, yeah, hop to it. Let's go, people. Nothing to see here. Move along. You've got a crush on your piano teacher. I'd hardly call it a crush. We talked about piano, music, and art, and he went to Greendale, too. And we had the same gym teacher and the same English teacher, and I bet we had the same locker and the same math book, and I think someday we'll get married and live in Paris and be artists and never get jobs, and we'll sit in cafes and drink caffeinated beverages, and we'll have a pet ferret. And Salem! I hate musicians. Oh, come on. You're not so sore about that Beethoven thing. I'll never forget that Beethoven thing. Cool, you ladies all love me, don't you? Understandable, innit? I mean, I'm the greatest musician in the world. I'm the greatest musician in the world. <laughs> Oi, servant! Give us a bit of a clean up! Yeah, my fourth symphony was a bit of all right. Question is, how do I top myself? I need a riff. I've got it! Ludwig, you're a genius. That will go down in history. <laughs> yeah, baby, I know. <coughs> oh, big pardon, love. Creep. Perhaps I should accompany you to this concert. Check out this Dave for myself. There he is. I mean, cool, whatever. There he is. Everyone sit down and don't do anything embarrassing. I'll be right back. <gasps> Nuts! What's with Sabrina? I think she's developed a sudden passion for music. Sabrina! What a wonderful surprise! Break your legs! I mean, uh, good luck tonight. Ah, <laughs> oh, these flowers are beautiful. You are quite possibly my favorite student ever. You mean it? Absolutely. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. Okay, a lot nervous. I mean, there are so many important people here tonight. But these flowers let me know that you'll be out there thinking good thoughts for me. You know I will. Just remember, as long as your music means something to you, you'll play great. Oh, it's not just me who's playing tonight. Would you like to meet the cellist for this evening? Wow, sure, where is he? Oh, well, she's right over here. Actually, she's my girlfriend. Oh, sure, girlfriend. I have lots of girlfriends, too. We go to the mall together and we go to movies, do our nails. 
<laughs> Melinda and I always make a point to do our nails separately. Melinda, can you come over here for a minute? I want you to meet my favorite piano student. David, darling, do you know what time it is? Oh, look at you. Your tie is all wrong. David, did you even comb your hair? Are you tuned up yet? Are the reviewers here? Melinda, shh, calm down. There's, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Sabrina? Uh, Sabrina, let's start, okay? Can you believe that horrible cello player? She's going to ruin Dave. Just look at her. She probably stinks. Meow. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina, can we skip the Stephen King moment? Why don't you just listen to me play and in your head follow along and imagine a really cool story to go along with what I'm playing? Amazing. A cultural marvel right here in Greendale. Beethoven, was it? Hack. I mean, heck. <laughs> heck of a show. Top drawer. If I had a thumb, it'd be up. Sabrina, did your cat just talk? Meow. <laughs> Must be my nerves. Anyway, thank you all, but I never could have done it without my virtuoso cellist. Oh, Pookie, no. You're the real talent up there. Obviously. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Melinda, this is my favorite student, Sabrina Spellman. Sabrina, this is Melinda, the brilliant cellist you just heard tonight. Oh, were you playing too? I didn't notice. Sabrina, are you feeling all right? Peachy. Good night, kiddo. See you next week in class. It's getting late, kiddo. Let's go. Don't call me that. What'd I say? I think I have an idea of what's going on with Sabrina. <laughs> Cream Sundays were a great idea. After that concert, I'm way too excited to sleep. I can't tell you how happy I am that you like the piano, but I think maybe, maybe you really like your piano teacher. I mean, do you really like your piano teacher? Like him? Don't be ridiculous. I don't like him. I, I, oh, I love him, Uncle Quigley. It's true. I want to shout it out loud. Dave Manning is the man for me. Honey, your friendship with Dave is wonderful and important, but you can't confuse what you're feeling with love. But it feels like love, I, I think. I know, but you're too young for that right now, and Dave is an adult with a very nice girlfriend. Blech. Sabrina, listen, when you're older, then you'll find someone who's your own age, who has similar interests. But we have the same interests, and he said I was the best student he ever taught. If it weren't for that horrible cello player... Well, you know that she has nothing to do with this. Don't try to grow up so fast. Love can be very painful. Tell me about it. I'm losing it here. Honey, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, but even if I didn't love him, which I don't, I mean, I do, I think, I just want to make sure that Melinda person doesn't ruin him. Well, it's good to be concerned for a friend, but... Make sure you know all the facts. It could be that this Melinda is very important to Dave. Mm-hmm. Will you give some thought to what we talked about? Yeah. Thanks, Uncle Quigley. I'm proud of you. How could he possibly know how this feels? This is agony! I'm going to have to take care of that Melinda my way with magic. Mm, what's the matter, Tubby? Can't fly away without your tail feather? Hmm. Oh, yes! Lunchtime! Salem, wake up! You're dreaming! <laughs> oh, why'd you wake me? I was about to put the finishing touches on a chubby, one-legged canary with an overactive thyroid. Oh, sorry. Are we still pining for our twinkle-fingered young music man? 
Salem, it isn't me I'm worried about, it's Dave. That awful cello lady is going to ruin his life. He only likes her because she's a great musician. Oh, what if she weren't a great musician? I'm listening. Repeat after me. Park Place, Boardwalk, Marvin Gardens. Park Place, Boardwalk, Marvin Gardens. Huh? Enchant this play before it hardens. Enchant this play before it hardens. What? So all Melinda's musical talent is now stuck in this little jar? Yep. Better let me hold on to it for safekeeping. not what we rehearsed. I don't know. I'm trying. I really am. Well, stop playing. I'll go on without you. I can't. I'm trying. I can't. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm, I think those two can forget about Europe now. Dave! Oh, you poor thing. You must be completely bummed out. What? Oh, Sabrina, I can't believe you were here for that fiasco. Sorry you had to see that. That's okay. I thought you were wonderful, but that cellist of yours, sheesh, maybe you ought to dump her. Uh, Sabrina, just because someone makes a mistake, it doesn't mean you should abandon them. But what if she ruins your chances for fame? I mean, you're on your way to Europe, and... But I wouldn't dream of going to Europe without Melinda. We're a team. But did you hear her tonight? I mean... Excuse me, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I really need to find Melinda. She must be heartbroken over what happened. This was her big shot, too, after all. Oh, sure. Well, I'll see you next week. <sighs> Why so gloomy, sweetheart? Oh, no reason. Um, is Salem around? He said something about having a gig at a juke joint in the Boogie Down. <laughs> Stuff, you cramping the style. Salem, I need that bottle. Can't you see I'm using it right now? In fact, I'm working it. I'm on fire, Daddy-O. Listen, Daddy-O, you give me that bottle or I'll turn your stray cat strut into a hurt cat limp. Well, since you put it that way... Before you let the power in that bottle go, I think you should know one possible little glitch. Whatever it is, I don't care. I thought I'd feel good after Melinda screwed up, but I feel terrible. I've just ended up hurting Dave. It's like I don't recognize myself. And neither will Dave Manning. Huh? When you release the power in that bottle, Melinda's misery will be gone. Get it? Her misery? You mean me? Well, not you, just you and Dave Manning. If we give it back, Dave will think he never met you at all. Then for him, none of this ever really happened. Get it? You mean he won't know me anymore? Bingo. Well, okay, let's try it. I never thought I'd want to fix it so that the most wonderful friend I ever had didn't know me anymore. But there's no other way. b and Railroad for Utilities Restore Melinda's Lost Abilities. Uncle Quigley, how could you let me sleep so late? Where's the newspaper? Can I see it? Can I please... Please? Will you want the funnies, dear? No, the art section. Phew. Is something good? Oh, let me see. Oh, my, how exciting. Two of Greendale's own make it big. It makes me proud to be a Greendalian. Yeah, proud. You're going to miss Dave when he goes to Europe, aren't you? Uncle Quigley, I was really in love. At least I really thought I was. I don't know. And I guess that you were right that Dave's an adult and I'm a... kid. But then I got so jealous of Melinda that I was the one who made her playing stink last night. But then Salem fixed it all, but now Dave won't even know who I am anymore. 
Sabrina, you know what happens when you use your magic to solve a problem like this. Magic is the easy answer, and there are no easy answers to hard questions. I think I figured that out. I'm sorry, Uncle Quigley. Hey, do you want to go to Dave's concert tonight? I think we can still get tickets. Sure, then I could say goodbye to him, or hello, or something. These are for you. Oh, well, thank you. These are beautiful. Did you enjoy the concert tonight? Oh, definitely. You see, I had this really great teacher who taught me a lot about music and art and life. And he always said that music should move you. And your music really moved me. I'm so pleased you think so. It's so nice to meet a young person who is so interested in music. Thank you. Sabrina. Sabrina? Are you sure we haven't met before? Yeah. Well, if you'll excuse me, I need to find my cellist. We have to get ready. We leave for Paris in the morning. Wait! Yes? Uh, did you want me to sign your program? Would you mind? I'd be honored. To the charming Sabrina, may beautiful music take you to beautiful places. Dave Manning. Beautiful music, beautiful places. Thanks! <laughs> 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 <laughs>